Welcome, most in particular, to this handsome man, uh, Joe Convino. Very you. Hey, um, good morning, everyone. Um, what I wanted to start off talking about was around uh, the issue of courage. Um, and I want to start off by just asking everyone in the audience um, to put their hand up if you've seen the film Lincoln. Who, who here has seen the film Lincoln? Okay, a fair number. Well, well the rest of you, I, I highly recommend uh, you do watch it because, because Lincoln is about courage. Um, and it was the courage to stand up for the abolition of the slave trade. And um, while the, the comparison between the slave trade and sustainability is not, doesn't quite work, it does work on some levels, which was at the time of slavery, it was embedded in the system, it brought economic success, um, but at the core of it, um, something was morally rotten with it. And, um, and the thing about Lincoln and the film, which is a, a masterpiece in itself, is because it really highlights, actually, what one person can do. I uh, interviewed a little while ago uh, someone called Professor Grattan at uh, the London Business School, and she's done in-depth studies into 60 companies who are going through change. And she was looking at the sort of what is the common denominator that has created change in these organizations. And what was interesting is she found that in pretty much every organization, it was one individual. If you're doing great things, you need to be standing up and you need to be talking about it. And you need to be coming in support of those people who are talking about it, like the Paul Pullmans in this world. By not speaking out, you put people like him at great risk. And it's like, I, I imagine it's like a, um, uh, an army supply chain. You know, when, the, when, certain, you know, when certain forward units go so far forward that they get cut off because there's no one there to back them up. And, you know, if Paul Pullman gets taken down, you're, you're, and you, you've seen the CEO of Pepsi, PepsiCo get basically put back in her box. If you have the few people who have spoken out about the need for transformational change, if they don't, aren't supported and they get taken down, then this movement goes back so far. And if, if that movement goes back so far, every business in this room will be responsible for allowing that to happen. So I just ask you, really, just to, just to be part of that, just to, just to expand yourself, expand your ideas, not just look at what everyone else is doing, but just think of the difference you can make. And thank you very much. Is that beautiful or what? Talk about energy. Thanks, Joe. Uh, silence doesn't create a movement, I heard you say. It's kind of funny because the second song I played was called The Future is Silent. So the only way to reconcile that in my mind is that actions will speak louder than words. I think we make a mistake. We, we talk about economic crisis, we talk about social crisis, we talk about climate change crisis as if they are independent crises. I think we are in a systemic crisis. I think the planet is in trouble. I think the social tensions are rising universally. I, th I think we're looking at failure of government to take action and to take a lead. The citizens, all of us, as consumers, as voters, we need to be mobilized, and uh, are we able to be mobilized? And we, as business, we have a choice. And the choice is relatively simple. We stay in the circle, and that is called short-termism, and then we just continue to run the circle of quarterly reports and quarterly results and outlooks and chasing the financial capital markets, or we're going to go and break out. You are not members of WBCSD to stay in this circle. We have to be able to agree that we need to get out of this circle. So how are we going to get out of this circle is all I care about, and that is scale and speed. The words that were emailed to you, scale up is all we should care about. I am a capitalist. The big mistake capitalism has made is that all we do is measure and manage the returns of financial capital. But there is more than financial capital. There is natural capital and there is social capital. And today, if you are mistreating natural capital, it does not hit your P&L. And, and that somehow doesn't feel right. So how are we going to measure and manage and balance the returns between the three capitals 
rather than just one. It's, it's a fundamental core concept where sustainability has to go. My first meeting with many of you was in Munich in November of 2011. You there, the council there, accepted this as the positioning statement for WBCSD. WBCSD is forward thinking companies, CEOs, that will galvanize, I don't quite know what that means because it's not my mother language, but it, it feels like inspires and moves. So we will inspire and move the global business community to create a sustainable future for business, the societies and the environment. That's pretty cool language that you guys agreed. The second thing you said in that same positioning statement is we will work with our members, our leadership, thought leadership, a bit of advocacy, but the last words are important, to generate solutions and action. And that really resonates with me because I know we need to speak up and, and we will, but I do believe that actions speak a lot louder than words. The focus areas that we've been identifying are simple. We need to think about natural capital. The second area is we're going to continue to work on energy and climate. A relatively new area for us, and certainly the way we package it has been stepped up considerably as social capital. Eradication of poverty, business must think about its role, and we here must think about the solutions. The fourth area is financial capital. Because whatever we do in the sustainability space, if we are not able to attach ourselves, link into the capital markets, we're going to be isolated as a niche, as a bunch of people who want to save the world, and we'll never be able to do it. So this is going to be a cool journey. I hope all of you will want to engage, will be part of it, will bring all of your company along. I'll talk to your CEOs as much as I can to bring them along as well. Uh, but I thank you for listening.